Hi, everybody. This is Urban Sweetheart Teresa. I'm doing a Get Ready With Me featuring this unit right here. This is uh, the Outre Lace Front DaVita HD wig. I got her this time in the color 1B. Before I had her in the, um, uh, the cinnamon wine, wanted to do a basic color and see what I come up with. So let's get started. Before you I remember, I told you this joint has some serious baby hairs on here. <sighs> I know how I feel about the baby hairs. Oh, Lord. Good. what I'm going to do with all these baby hairs. But definitely, I'm letting y'all know now, when it's time for me to pause this video, I definitely will be cutting and doing it straight off. As before, we got this lace that is very light. If you're brown like me, you're going to have to tint this through some foundation or spray or whatever. Ooh, this look almost like a, a jet black. And definitely it's a 1B. Very dark and shiny. All right. Two combs on the side, the side deep part. And it's definitely on the right side. This is the comb in the back just for the strap. This is the cap looking like. All right, I'm gonna slide on my head real fast. Do I look like I'm from the 1960s girl group for Motown or something right now? All right, we're going to have to do something. She's definitely shiny. My goodness. All right, so I'm going to go cut this lace off, and I'll come right back. All right, so I put the unit back on. Put this to secure it down. I cut most of all them baby hairs off. Just left this little swoop piece right here. Of course, I don't want to act right now. Uh, Anyway, I'll fix that up in a minute. It's going to shed some. I'm letting y'all know that now. Because like I said, I cut it all the way. Cut them baby hairs off. All right, so let's do this real fast. And I tried this on to be sure this is the shade that I want. This is a MAC lipstick. And the name of it is uh, Fall in Love. It's one of the Powder Kiss colors. I didn't line my lips. I want it like a pinky look and some type of neutral eye. I bought in a bunch of Juvia's Place. <laughs> Uh, they blush. I'm trying to see what we're gonna try. Should I try this? One? Oh lord, that looks so bright. <laughs> that look way bright. I don't know. If we gonna try that or not? But anyway, let's get something done on this eye. Um. All right, I'm gonna go with a basic look. I ain't got all day. Taken out of here, my Oktoberfest, which is the one almost used all the way up. And we're going to use this as a transition color.
taking it just right above the crease and then spreading it. It's like a warm orangey brown. I love this. Waiting for them to go back on sale at Postal Sense. Um, the 99 cent pots. And I grabbed like 10 of them. I use this pretty much on anything. Look how it transitions. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, we're going to go with... Hmm, yeah, this one. Here, warrior two. We're going into the brown right here. <clears throat> Little fluffy brush, not too much. And we're coming right on the crease. Take it to about to the middle. Right on the crease. See where that line, like, you can feel it right there. Right on the outside, work it to about to the middle. Don't take it all the way in. And with anything, I'm learning that you want to blend, blend, blend. I'm probably not going to blend as much on camera as I could because I'm not trying to make this super long. So I'm probably going to, you know, come back at the end. You're going to see this blended print pencil brush going underneath. And I had put on um, mascara, the Fave Time Foundation. This time I went with the uh, Lumi Foundations. And I used C78 and N78. Before I used C6 and I believe it was C78. But I just, I got a bunch of them. So I just grabbed the first two I seen, light in the dark, mixed them together. Because uh, they don't have a shade that's perfectly my skin tone. Lumi, Lumi, Lumi. I like it. I like it. I like it. And what do we want to put on our lids? I think I want to go golden today. All right, see so yeah, how we're going to do this without me looking crazy. So we're going to take, let me see which one. Do I want to be that golden? Like the golden. It's the one I've been using, that orangey shade. Yeah. Testing out all the colors for which one I want. I can make it happen. Time for one more. I like this one. So we're going with this one right here. Bless my fingers so fast. All right, we're going to be gentle handed. So I don't want to be golden beyond belief. First of all, I'm going to put a tap right in the inner corner. We're going to be very gentle. This is highly pigmented, so I just took a little pat. I know I don't got the right brush. It's just this is what I got my hand. So you're placing it. Placing it. Oops, 
Oops. And a lid. You don't want to swipe it. You want to place it. So you want to, I'm taking it all the way to the corner. Just stopping shy of the outer corner, but taking it all the way to the inner. I would love to put on some false, false eyelashes, but I don't have the skills. <laughs> I don't have the skills and nor do I have the time to practice. I know some people put them on every day. That's how they got that down pat. But me, I just can't. All right, so that hand's done. Blim, blim, blim. Blim, blim, blim. Blim, blim, blim. Very simple. Very, very simple. Let's do that as far as that. We're going to use some of this middle gold right here to um, highlight it. Much. As you can see, don't say much. Is it right? Say touch. Boom. Boom. Now I'm about to blend that. This stuff is highly pigmented, people. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to have to blend the heck up on that. Let's see what this blush. I'm going neutral. I can't do that bright pink. I just can't. I was going to try that. Mm -mm. No, I can't. We're going with this one right here. Yes, people, I know I got to do something else to like highlight it beyond belief. I'm going to use my foundation brush, brush, which is not in here, to take it down. Take it way down. And let's go. All right, let's see what we're going to do with this hair. I'm going to finish up my makeup, put some mascara on. But we got to comb through this hair and get all that shed hair out. Moving out the way, I know this is gonna be a heavy fall. Yeah, look at all that hair. Like I said, I cut, I cut all the way past the thing. Get, trying to get all the baby hairs out. So in the front is definitely gonna have shedding. Definitely. This is a very dark. Can be very dark. Didn't mean to pause that. I was trying to keep the light going. Can't get paused it for no good reason. Okay. This one doesn't seem. Oops, I'm gonna pull a little bit more to hold that one. Boom. This doesn't seem as layered as the other one. Maybe I'm just confused. But the other one was like, boom, layers upon layers. That that burgundy joint. But, yeah, this one doesn't seem as layered. 
like that kind of resembles this, but this up here, yeah, I remember I was just layering. This is like extra long. Remember, I, I was able to like just push it, and it was just like mad high layers. But remember, I was like trying to take it up to here. That's how good and layered it was. This is like very loose. Scared to spray some got to be going with y'all laughing at me. But I definitely gonna spray some and then try to push it forward a little bit. All right, let's get it through. And I put some uh eyeshadow in the part. This one, you know, get a tap of that one. Ran it down the part really good. All right, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do this little section back down. It's fluffing up. And put a little guys to be to hold this. And put some mascara on. I'll be right back. All right, yeah, this is the end result. Let's let y'all see how this looks. Now, on this side, it did give me that layered effect of the, um, the uh, burgundy color one but this side is it's like really long like the other one you remember i was like pushing it up and getting all this height this is just like long and it doesn't have that same feathered effect as the other one no matter how much i try to push remember i was like doing doing that it was like oh i was like spray shh, shh. this is like nah <laughs> That's the only reason I got this color. I was like, oh man, I imagine that this in a, a dark color. You got all that height and feathering. Nah, not the same. All right, side, back. And it feel loose. The cap feel awfully loose. I tried to adjust the strap. Act like it didn't want to go in. You could take this shine down with some powder, dry shampoo or something. Like I said, you cannot feather it like that other one. It's just not. I guess if you knew how to cut, you probably could layer it, but will it be curled as that other one was? I seriously doubt it. Not loving this one. Not loving it. But it is what it is. Thank you. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I was about to leave y'all without this. I ordered these the other day. I'm loving them. These are from Static Nail. It came less than a week. Because I don't trust that these um nail places and stuff is not going to shut back down. Look how that would look. Oh, man, that's a beautiful color. This one is creamsicle. Come on, baby. Focus. What is that? Creamsicle, yeah. And this color is beautiful. Let me, just, let me take one out. And we're going to see what it comes with. I ain't never ordered for them before. So you get the nail glue. You get a file. I guess this is the like buff. You know, get these where the, the nail glue will stick. So you're going to have to buff your nails a little bit. I'm going to trim my nails down a little bit more because I want it flush with this. And you get, looks like two sets. I think it's 10 in each row. Uh-oh, I'm making a mess. Look at these nails going. Ah, let's try one. Let's try one. I'm going to get like a little more intensity. I'm going to try to put it on, and I'll come back and show y'all at the end. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this one. I also got a brown one. So 
This one is uh, toasted sugar. Toasted sugar. That should ooh, oh. <laughs> that look nice. That look nice. Toasted sugar. This one is hot girl summer. And then we got uh Mademoiselle. What's this is like a French manicure? Oh, I might just put that one on. That's looking cute. And they came, like I said, mighty fast. So I was impressed with that. They come with glue, so you ain't got the if you didn't have any glue or anything. You got your glue. I'm going to try that on, and I'm going to come back and show y'all real fast. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm back. So I cut my nails down, and I filed them just slightly so they have something for the glue to attach to. So here's the glue. Taking the top off. <laughs> and let's find a thumbnail to put on. Put some glue on the nail bed. And then that glue's coming out, so I gotta cut it. Woo, so I did. I put the glue on the nail bed. I'm pressing for about 30 seconds. This is about the length I want because I drive. Y'all know I can't get on these super long ones. So I'm going to do this whole hand and then I'll come back. Okay. Okay. Then these are the static nails. And this is the color cream sickle. This is what it's looking like. It says renew, reusable pop on manicure. So you're able to take them off and put them back on. I'm assuming these is active length. Because I didn't want the really long ones. I got a, too much I got to do. I only need one I kind of messed up on. It glued too fast. I'm probably going to take this off later. And straighten it. But all the rest of them. It was a good application. And I cut my nails down first so you won't see them underneath. Cream sickle. So this is like a beige, pinky, peachy beige cream sickle. I like it. I like it. And I switched my hair out, people, because um was not feeling this Davida. So I went back to my tried and true. <laughs> anyway. Just wanted to try to see these. And like I said, they ship fast. It took less than a week for me to get them. Feel secure. I feel like they're going to pop off. I'll let y'all know if they do this come off for no reason. But nice active length nails. I can't wait to try the um, darker ones. Remember these the colors. This this one I can't wait to try these. Ooh, these up here coming out because I was playing in them. These the hot girl summer. I was seeing if I was gonna put them on, but I went with the cream sickle. Ain't popping off or nothing. Scratching myself up good. Not really messing up. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, I went out and I had one drink. <laughs> Bye, y'all.